Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. Let's continue. So, uh, if I remember, last time we went to the military ward, there's no one here. Oh yeah, we was on the mission with no um, information, weren't we? Okay. That's fine. We can handle that. I mean, it's pretty much going to boil down to shooting all the enemies anyway. Like, that's basically the ammo of this game. You look displeased, sir. Of course I am. One step away from complete and utter victory, and those politicians sign a damn peace treaty. It was the work of the peace meditation organization. There's nothing we could do, sir. Are you telling me that we should let the Republic of Zafra have its way? Sir, all I'm saying is that we should pull our men out before we lose more of them to this meaningless fighting. Those words sound hollow coming from you, Olsen. Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, Olsen's not a very nice character, as uh, you might be able to tell from that little exchange. All mysteries shall be resolved in due time. Hostile sighted. Deploy and intercept. Be careful. They're making their last stand. Sir, they found us. All right, men. Let's show them what the US, the USG, the USG is Jamora. Uh, the UCS is made of. All units charge. Yes, sir. Yeah, you could surrender. You know, that's an option. Just throwing it out there. Uh, I guess we'll take Cowboy and his Sea King. Just for funsies. Uh, let's take uh, Yi Hin as well. Just because. This is where I've um, forgotten to upgrade someone, isn't it? Right, so what? let's have a quick look at the old tack map here. Ah. Okay, so we've got three coming in from the uh, south. We've got three in the north. Maybe the main component of enemies is uh, to the east, which is fine. Right, okay then. Let's send everybody. In fact, let's not send everybody. Let's give the Sea King a chance to wow us, shall we? Whilst I turn my headset up, because this is very quiet all of a sudden. Right, okay, so the problem is Sea King can't quite get there in time. Hmm. Which is f fine, I guess. You know what? We'll send him, and... Who's kind of low grade? JJ. Uh, JJ's pretty good. You know what? Him and JJ will actually be able to hold this line fine. <laughs> Not that JJ's low grade. We don't really have anyone here that's low grade. Nice, Frederick. You took his legs out. I'm actually quite happy with that. Uh, everybody just push, really. Go for the Misslers. May, I mean, honestly, I mean, you're not a tier one operative, but you're pretty close. Right, go for it. Let's see what Yi Hin can do. A little bit better than his brother, uh, his sister, but not a huge amount. Right. Okay, so tier one operatives can go. Center. Center stage. Speed and duel. We don't need to duel if we've got speed. We can just hoover up all of that yummy experience. Now, Ryuji, another tier one operative. Center. Actually. So, 
Ah, so the water river actually gives you zero cover. It's curious. That's classed as woods, really? Alright. Cool. Whatever. Alright then, well. You can go center. Guide, remove that rocket launcher. Let's neuter these guys as much as we can. Not that I'm that worried, Natalie. Another tier one. She can come up the river, I suppose. And who do we have here? Keith. What? Keith. Level 30. Yeah, Keith is pretty up there as well. Alright. The Sea King should be able to handle pretty much anything. Ah, Keith could actually reach all the way. Nice. Good stuff, Keith. Good stuff. Right, let's see what they're going to do. How are they going to act? Ryuji. Ooh, Ryuji got knocked about pretty hard there, actually. That wasn't fantastic. Interesting. They think JJ's the bigger threat, which, let's be fair, is true. Wasting time using chaff, that's fine. Alright. So, let's lead the charge. Let's get rid of that bloody carrier straight away. That's certainly not needed around here. Now, we could come in behind them, actually. Which might not be an awful idea. Go for it. Ooh. Hell. That was a mistake. Uh, yeah, that was actually a mistake. I should have got Ryuji to repair himself. Well, let's see. Can't cover him either. Let's see if we can cause enough chaos over here. Not bad, Natalie. Not bad. Making some pretty bad mistakes, actually. I mean, you know, if someone goes down, it's not the end of the world or anything like that. But I'd rather they didn't. Why pay for repairs if you don't need to? And all that. Okay. Not bad. Now, JJ. Uh, actually, JJ, you can stay. Let's... Yeah. Can't actually stand there, can we? We get the Sea King. We actually can. Right, let's see what you can do, Older. Not bad. Not freaking bad at all. Alright. Maybe there's something in this. Right, Yi Hin. Alright, Yi Hin. Oh, you got an unlucky hit on you there. But that's not really your fault. Okay. I might actually just leave the Sea King here to soak that up by himself. Should be able to handle everything there. My concern. is. this guy. That was not great either. Uh, yeah, we need to remove this guy. Quick as we can. Come on, May. Alright, well, I mean, not really. But whatever. We're, we're diverting a lot of resources to try and take this guy out. And it's not exactly going to plan, is it? Come on. Guide. Center mass. We can't mess this up. I mean, I guess he could mess this up. Bloody hell. That's okay. It is what it is. JJ's getting knocked around pretty bad there. The frame rate literally falls through the floor. Whenever there's water or anything. Oof. Okay. Happy with that. Happy with that. Uh, you know what? Just defend yourself. 
If you go down, you go down. You didn't. Not that I ever doubted you, Ryuji. Not that I ever doubted you for a second. Okay. Suppose we could just come in behind these guys. Light them up. Jewel. Don't care about the jewel. Oof. That probably would have scratched. If it had hit. Now, Ryuji, I want you to reposition yourself behind here and eat a medkit. Ah, much better. Natalie, you can just continue causing chaos. A little bit sudden like that. Keith. Uh, Keith, just keep raiding missiles on him, I guess. Uh, take that bloody rocket launcher out. Rocket launchers, or kind of like RPGs, I guess. Um, they're interesting in this game. They're almost useless to the, in, in the fact that they very rarely ever hit anything. But, if they do hit, man, they frickin' hurt. And we're down to single digit frame rates again. I'd love to know what the problem with this, the optimization on this game is. It's just awful. I mean, it's not exactly a groundbreaking looking game. But it does, I mean, it doesn't matter that it runs like ass due to the nature of what it is. But it, yeah, the presentation really suffers. It's a shame. I'm hoping um, Front Mission 2 and 3 are going to be way more optimized. Videos of them look good. All the videos of them look very, very good. They look, a, it, they they do look a good jump ahead of this. Not that they've shown off Front Mission Three, but they've shown Front Mission Two, and yeah, although it's similar to this, they it looks way better. But I've never played Front Mission Two, so looking forward to that. I think it's out this year as well. Another little last hurrah for the Switch. Hopefully. <laughs> nice. Put that Sea King to work. Go for it, Yin Hin. Or Yi Hin. However you say your name. Uh, you know, Pee Wee, you just continue having a smoke break or whatever it is you do back there. Chaff. What a waste of a turn. Yep, defend yourself. <laughs> that gun's just like flapping all over the place. Older, you got the twitches coming on. Jesus, you got the newbie shakes. Good lord. Alright, I do like these um, kind of like hovering legs. They look pretty cool. Ooh, yeehens. Not looking so hot, actually. I'd love to know how much fuel these things burn. But then I'm assuming they use some kind of, like, futuristic power source. Oh, hello. Addressing all OCU and UCS fighting forces. Our representative, our respective nations have agreed to a ceasefire as of 1600 hours today. Terminate hostile actions immediately and return to base. I repeat, return to base. A ceasefire? Captain Driscoll, what's going on? You heard him, the war's over. Return to base. Then what have we fought for all this time? What about the men who laid their lives down for the UCS? Such is war. Do you have your orders? Orders? To hell with orders! I've lost too many. Those deaths should have some meaning. I will not surrender my weapons. Who's with me? Fair enough. I can respect that. It's a shame, but I can respect that. Well, the commander's gone down. You guys gonna fight to your last? 
Probably. Uh, take that arm off him. Or, you know, you could also not, I guess. That's fine too. Uh, yeah, you guys are kind of screwed, by the way. Like, I don't want to say it, but you guys are seriously outmatched and outgunned here. Even with old Oldler at the controls of this mighty machine. Twitchy old Oldler. Oldler? Older, I should say. Right, Yehin, I get. Oof. Still plenty of meat on his bones. Uh, go for an attack, Wild Goose. Try and take his other weapon out. Yeah, more comfortable getting Yi in to finish him off then. Yi Hin, go for it. Alright, you're getting some exp XP, and that's fine. Take a nap. JJ, well, sorry brother, but there's not really an awful lot left for you to do. Guess you can try and rain fire down. Nope, can't even get that far. I kind of want Yi Hin to get the kill there, but that's probably going to take a while. Uh, you know what? Just creep up behind him. That's fine. Yi Hin is adequate, I suppose. Right, everyone else. Kill your targets. Paul. There we go. Not bad, Paul, but yeah, could have been better. Okay. That's not great. Yeah, those long range uh, weapons, when they actually connect, are really good. They still want to fight? Incoming! They're crazy. What are we going to do now? We can't back down. Well, no, you can't. Because, you know, <laughs> be ashamed to back down and be killed now, wouldn't it? Come on, Natalie. Send him to his grave. The grave that he so wishes. Uh, now. Now, unfortunately... This guy's kind of like out in a world of his own. Sea King didn't quite have the gumption to take him out. Well, we're in range. Didn't really do a whole lot, did it? Right, Sea King. Oh god, yeah, you know what? I'm not feeling the Sea King. It's alright. It does like adequate damage. But it's not the most mobile of things. Saying that, we are using wands as that are at the moment tiered for or spec for movement speed. So, yeah. You know what? That'll do. End our turn. Now that's below the belt, sir. That's really below the belt. And you shall pay the ultimate price for that. Injustice. Uh, who's in close? That'll do. Oh, Keith. Come on, Keith. Good lord. A few more points is all it would have needed. Uh. You know what, Pee Wee? You have a crack. A bit useless, but yeah. Can you get? Yes, you can. 
That'll do, May. That'll do. Fools. The war was already over. Hell of a way to end this war. The war is over. On this day, the second Huffman conflict comes to an end. Both the OCU and the UCS signed a peace treaty drafted by the Republic of Zafra, the chief executive member of the Peace Meditation Organization. My god. The treaty also called for a temporary unification of all armed forces deployed on Huffman to serve as a peacekeeping corps under the command of Zafra. The world's media gave Zaftra's initiative unprecedented praise. As a result, the PMO gained the recognition that it had sorely lacked since its creation. Your true mission begins now, do you understand? I must say, I feel their tendencies for insubordination may not make them the best material for candidates. Leave that to Sakata. All you need to do is make sure they stay on this island. I understand. Hmm. Who could they be referring to? Who is insubordinate? And who must stay on this island? You can't possibly be talking about us. <gasps> Surely not. But for what purpose? Yeah, I always thought this was the end of the game, <laughs> but oh no, oh no, 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 there's still plenty left in the tank. It's, a, it's actually a really bloody long game. As you may already have heard, both military forces on Huffman have been integrated into the Peace Mediation Corps. From now on, the Canyon Crow's main objective will be the annihilation of the terrorist group calling itself the Spirit of Huffman. Is that so? Well, that's curious. Anyway, guys, I'm going to drop a save there. Uh, that's basically my recording time over. So, when we come back next week now for me, or might be able to squeeze a little bit in tomorrow, we'll continue and find what uh, is really going on behind the scenes here. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.